All right, guys, Nick Dross, I'm here with Ellen Stranzel. We're looking at some women's self-defense, ex-bouncer, professional stunt woman, and hypnotist as well. Uh, she knows her self-defense. She's been in many real situations. She Yeah, I've, she... I've used it, and uh, a lot of what I used to teach, I, based on my experience now, I would not teach it today. Um, and, and I found that out the hard way. Yeah. Um, and I think that's, guys, if you're looking at what I teach, a lot of what we teach or what I still teach is based on experience. It's very, it's one thing theory. Yeah. <laughs> it's another thing actually having to, you know, you know, pull off some fancy move or another, another thing is, it's another thing to actually apply it in real life when a guy's committed to either stab you yeah. or try to punch you and you're looking at fighting in the, in the ring. You know, some guy wrote to me, if you want to earn my respect, go roll with some BJJ guys. I might as well sit at home and play chess Ugh. because go work in a nightclub and see some of the brawls we've been into. And then you're going to be like, shit, where you're getting home and you're shaking in the middle of the night because yeah. of the adrenaline. Because, you know, holy shit, I almost died tonight. And you know what? That's the difference between having a good night and a bad night. Because there's a lot of questions. What's it like being a bouncer and all that stuff? And it's like, let me tell you something. A good night is... I'm, for me, when I was going home at 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm going home, I'm blasting the radio, and I'm singing because if I don't sing, I'm going to be falling asleep at the wheel. So that's how I stay awake, is I sing in the car until I get home. A really bad night, the radio's off, yeah. and the, the drive is so silent, but I'm so awake, and I'm so alert, and I get home, and how many times have I, have I looked at my boyfriend, and I gave him a kiss, and I was home, couldn't eat anything, because I'm still thinking, oh my God, what happened? You know, uh, what could I have changed to have done? Uh, I'm so lucky. Uh, yeah. So many, that's a bad night. That was a it's bad night. It's interesting, because even though, um, you know, obviously man or woman, we kind of lived it the same way, when shit hits the fan, you're going home and you're playing that movie all over in your head again. You're thinking, yeah. fuck, I could have got stabbed. Scary as hell. Yeah. It, it's scary shit. So, um, so Helen's going to be working the bag. She's going to do some striking. And, and let me also just say, it's been, what, over 10 years, 15 yeah. years yeah. since I've worked with a bag, Bob Dummy. Yeah. Um, I don't do it. I don't, I don't like to do this anymore. I want to stay away from, you know, the whole uh, fighting, the raping and everything, all that bad energy. However, I'm confident enough in my skills that I know I may not be able to hit it as fast as I did when 15 years ago. I, I know I could still pull it off in order to get away and, and, and whatnot. So you're about to see someone hit the Bob dummy. Yeah, Helen, come on. <laughs> Wait, let me put it up. All right, let me see you go at okay, it. Okay, so this is no prior, uh, no prior, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, build up uh, yeah, no training, training no ch no, yeah. no, no, nothing at all. So we're assuming now that we've spoken and there's no way else to get away but but to strike the individual. Okay, so from here, it's headbutting, going into the eyes, striking the throat. Look at his face is being break. His face just got mauled. Now, for some of you, it might look like it's not much it looks like what is she doing and i've grappled with her i've rolled with her and when she sticks her nails in my face or pinches me and believe it or not all those shots will rip into your face like you can't believe it that shit does a lot a lot of damage have you slowed, slowed down guys like this in clubs oh my gosh yeah yeah and what's their reaction uh, they just want to get away. They want to pull away. Nobody's used to that. And I also, I stay close. If yeah. I stay here and I allow him to, 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 to punch me, I'm in that perfect range where he can yeah, do Yeah, like if he... I'm here and she's there, I'm open to clock or throw an elbow. So yeah. if she's in my face and she's either palming or raking or neck cranking or going for my hair, it becomes very, very hard because she's controlling the head. You know, so I don't need to actually look at him to know or here to know where his eyes are. I, I can pretty much feel this is his neck, this is his body, I know where his eyes are, and if he's gonna be moving, I'm gonna be moving with him. So it's also very hard to, to this is why it's also very hard to teach uh, you know, what do you do? Well, I don't know, I don't know how he's gonna move. How he moves will depend on how I move uh, in order to continue the fight. 
So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Helen Stranzo! So guys, leave us a comment. The women, leave us a comment in the box. Let us know what you think. Uh, make sure to subscribe, turn on your notification. Um, go visit our Self-Defense Academy and Essentials, our, a mastery program. I'll put in the description if you wanna learn self-defense online. Uh, we have a very unique program together with Dr. George Yanu, as well as check us out on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. And we have a whole series of videos with Helen Stranzel. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care. The, Stay Aust safe. the Austrian beast. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs>